Hello and welcome to Two Car Pros. Today we're going to show you how to properly torque your lug nuts. The first thing we need to do is put our wheel onto the lug nut studs. Once the wheel is on properly, we can put our lug nuts on in a star pattern. We're going to walk them all on by hand at first. Now when working with your wheel, make sure you're always doing everything in a star pattern when it comes to tightening lug nuts. If you have four bolts rather than five, like in this example, use a cross pattern, and six and up, you can still use a star pattern. So I'm going to continue walking these lug nuts on, uh, pushing the tire on uh, more and more, kind of walking it on while I screw them in by hand. Um, while I'm doing that, my assistant here is going to be adjusting my... Uh, torque wrench to the proper torque specification. I have a great link in the description to look up your uh, vehicle's lug nut torque spec. Mine happens to be 100, so I'm going to put the foot pounds on 100. Once the lug nuts are uh, pretty snug, we're going to put the vehicle back on the ground. So gravity's working with us in this case. And I'm going to grab a breaker bar. Uh, you can use a torque wrench for this as well. It has a, a ratcheting property to it. And I'm just walking the uh, lug nuts onto the threads a little bit more in a star pattern, of course. I'm not actually torquing them too hard. See, I stopped right there uh, to make sure that uh, I wasn't torquing them uh, too hard or too soft. I'm going to get the exact torque measurement with the torque wrench. This is just to walk the lugs on a little bit more. Okay, once the lugs have been walked on uh, to the point where they need to be torqued, we're going to grab our torque wrench to its proper torque specification. Again, the link is in the description for a great resource on that. And we're going to torque the lugs in a star pattern. Uh, if you have a 5 bolt and a uh, cross pattern, if you have a 4 bolt, and obviously if you have uh, more than 5, you can use a star pattern. Uh, the way the torque wrench works is once you've reached that torque threshold, you'll hear a slight pop and uh, the torque wrench will sort of give way a little bit. Uh, that's how you know that you are at the proper torque specification. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please visit twocarpros.com where our automotive experts are online ready to help for free.